Hello everyone, and welcome to Magicka 2. It's been quite a while since I did Magicka 1, single player. And I can't even hardly remember how long it's been since I did Magicka 1 co-op. But it's time that I do Magicka 2, because it's out, and I've been waiting for it. So, basically, a few things have changed since Magic 1. Namely, there's this unlock system. Well, like, if you unlock robes, like, let's say the basic wizard robes, and you unlock a skin, like white or veteran red. It's unlocked, so you can select it at any time, which is a very nice thing. I don't know, but let's also go over ropes and stuff before we get. So I have the wizard rope. There's still no need to wear anything else. Classic and super comfy. We also have the headmaster rope. These luscious threads worn by the greatest wizards of all. The headmaster's of Alderheim. Alderheim. Beard and beard strap now included. Does that actually change anything? And it's made from real Falcar. Where's well, so the other cultist rope? Caught recently emerged an out's mouth, fell up, but up to four wizards showed up and were wiped them out, and their guards were up for grabs. But that's well against staff damage, but it gives reduced hearing from life spells, but it gives a minor increase in movement speed. Oh, so we have the platypus rope, which I got for basically making a uh, Paradox account. Because free loot, why not? Anyway, a general use rope for your dedicated wizards comes with a warm cape and a protector cap to shield the user on sunny days, but it doesn't give you any stat increase things or such. However, I will be using the Warlord's Dragon Armor. This movement restricting armor hair from a realm drowned in eternal conflict. It bears the trophies from a slain dragon on his back. Toenail clippings, but still. But that's against all damage types, but reduced damage from life spells. And a great decrease in movement speed. But what can you expect? Oh, so we have two colors for it. Not sure if I can get more colors for the DLC and Deluxe Edition robes. Again, I haven't really tested too much. I did have a bit of pre-stuff off recording just to see how I would work and stuff. And staffs! There's the wizard staff, the platform staff. Forged by the lines of counter-testing and entertainment creators, the staff is said to link the greatest wizards in Arha I mean Midgard. But we'll be using. Well, I guess we can go with them. It shouldn't take too long. This perfectly balanced staff allows the wizard to channel spells in any direction, except up for some reason. The Epic Crystal Staff. A powerful gem filled with pale energy. First atop a totally wicked metal staff. Dang, that's sweet. Gives a massive bonus to code and ice spells, which I don't really use. Well, I use ice. Well, maybe code. No, yeah, I use code, but sometimes. But it greatly weakens fire and steam, which is... eh. Apparently hastens focus regeneration though, which is good, but... eh. Oh, so the training staff, which is... it's basically crap. And that there's probably an achievement for beating the game with basically the training staff and sword, but I doubt I'll be doing that. The Headmaster Staff, this fancy piece of craftsmanship, is only used only by the Krim led uh, Krim of the wizard world, namely the Alderheim Headmasters. Sadly 1% better at everything. And now yeah. Staff of Aeons. Eons, whatever. A staff of unknown origin found discarded along the coastline. Its shaft is encrusted in seaweed, and those who sail into orb have been known to lose their minds. The to death spells 
we can slice fails and hasten focus regeneration. So yeah, we'll be using that. However, for weapons, I actually found this one while testing a cheese slicer. With the two of the finest quality, worthy of slicing the king's cheese, it might even be made of silver. It has low physical damage and low death damage. However, we also have the retro sword. It's a dark ceremonial weapon used by cultists. No Trisha Richards. Very well suited to chopping up Kawamari. Which is technically better because, well, me and Fizz are good damage. Yeah. And the Platypus Sword. Because why not? Sword and Fuse was the full power for Platypus. Unfortunately, this Platypus was not powerful. The Headmaster Sword, a high quality blade, originated from the final area of the Defate Provenance. Namely, the town of exclusive. Or it's the Soul Screecher, a gigantic sword that weighs a ton, figuratively speaking, duh. And Angry Soul has been etched into the hill, such a promising life cut short so that the blade can be forged. It's basically the same as most swords, medium physical damage, but it has not. And also looks cool. Yes, it looks very World of Warcraft but oh. The train sword. We do not use the train sword. Because, well, bless the, it's not really a weapon. Also, the wizard sword. The standard wizard equipment, its unique take on sharpness leads you to wonder whether it's actually a mace. So, yeah. Stuff that we can have unlocked. Fun times. Now that I've gone on over that. We shall begin the actual prologue. Now here's a cool thing, you can actually have custom artifacts. You can choose freely from a lot of artifacts. Note that this is a chapter we want for still allows you to progress the campaign. So I probably won't be doing that, but we can have like this. Like, that's are kind of nice, and yeah. We won't be doing that though back. Are we doing this on normal? However we can change our familiar. We could have the well we could have none. Which is probably a bad idea. We also have the fairy. Hey listen! Listen! It simply revives you when you die. You have the pit manager which boosts elements at random and revives you. Or what I'll probably be using. Murray. He boosts damage after kills and revives you. Huzzah! And we could. Yeah. There's different things. But anyway, normal sounds good enough. And Vlad! He still has to replace his hand. But he's apparently tries to replace his hand with numerous things. Like a Lego hand. And a giant foam hand. And let's continue. And ah, a visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. I mean, stay as long as you wish. And I will tell you a story of wizards. Just wizards, no vampires. <laughs> Once upon a time, in a land known as Midgard, there was the Noble Order of Magic. The wizards of the Order lived in a great castle called Aldraheim, where they studied the fine art of spellcasting. They often lent a helping hand to the less gifted inhabitants of Midgard, defending them against monsters, running fetch quests, and at times, even saving the world! In time, the Order of Magic began to expand into new frontiers, founding new schools all over Midgard. However, this short time of prosperity would come to a brutal end. An evil presence infiltrated the Order of Magic and sowed the seeds of civil war between the schools, marking the beginning of the legendary Wizard Wars. As the wars raged on, the wizards' numbers dwindled. 
After dying and being revived countless times, they began to deteriorate. At the end of the wars, only a handful of wizards remained. Blabbering, violent, confused, never invited to parties, their purpose and sanity unraveled. Without their protectors around to accidentally burn the crops, kill all the livestock, and incinerate most of the townspeople, the humans rejoiced and entered what came to be known as the Golden Age of Man. In this time of relative peace and calm, the gentle winds of time ruffled the sensitive braids and beards of the seers of the world. The greatest of them all was Nostrir the Soothsayer, and his vision was clear. A child, infused with all the stray magical energies released during the devastating wizard wars, had been born somewhere in Midgard. Once of age, this child would possess limitless power over the elements, and thus the ability to make the world a better place, free of suffering for all. But the prophecy also spoke of a shadow. A shadow which intends to seize all of Midgard, and for its first step, it would prevent the child from ever realizing her power. These dark tidings at hand, the handsome teacher Vlad decided to end his well-deserved multi-decade-long vacation and travel back to Castle Alderheim. There he hoped to find one to four brave wizards to whom he could give the glorious quest of saving the world! Well, at least we know the story of Magicka 1 and <clears throat> Magicka Wizard Wars. Or see, he's using the hook. Trollgubbe, ye vander quat ihr um tider et vips kastler poof! Ah, hopefully you can see the subtitles. Se opportuni, mmm! And now I am. Day. And we can move around. Yay, moving around. We can also click and yeah, we move that. We can click and oh. He has a quest. Platski Pratski Dalski. Atmas Vatrhus. Baki Slotter can ve vetig mirig. We must go find flat out. So, we have life. But firstly, you look over there. There's Beholder, which we killed in the first match ago. <laughs> An ancient lizard for wizards seeking to match a lightning. Step one, climb up a high mountain. Step two, two clear your head. Step three, step four, zap. Oh, so. This is gonna take me a while to heal myself up. Like a lot. I mean, a lot to heal myself. Finally, we're healed up. So, fire. Burns things. We got to burn more things around us. We also can go our sword in fire. It doesn't fully go off unless it hits things. Like this. Not exactly what I meant to do. Yeah. I meant to use Earth. Like what it told me to do. Earth takes... I feel like it takes long to charge. Also, it's very easy to shoot yourself with things. Which is always bad. Like, okay, there's this convenient test goblin here. Also, I got achievement for killing him when I was doing this in the test. Now before we go, how to spell chapter one. 
ailment at the bottom of your screen show shows you eight magical ailments that can be combined to make spells. Selecting an ailment will <gasps> blah, blah, blah. your spell can, you can hold up to five ailments. The ailments in your kill appear below your feet. Behavior of the zone spell depends on the ailment combination and how you choose to cast it. So basically, fire and earth and earth and fire and yeah. We're already naturally slow, so I shouldn't be overusing this, but yeah. So we have found the cheese room. Ref Cheese King. Smelly Oscar Smelly You thanks for cheese. But alas, we are not cheese. And that is how you get the cheese slicer. Which we don't really want. But still. Did I have them Easter eggs. No, I haven't really played past the castle, so I I know a few of the secrets inside the castle, of course. Oh, so we can do water. Yay, water. Uh, I meant. Ah, here we go. Talk to this guy. Friend! You have to must tell her. Should a stunner, eller runner. So I wanted to come back to water all the plants. Yes, got to water all those plants. Oh, so. <laughs> and if you murder him, you get his robe colors for first the veteran in red. And now then, shield. Note that rock armor isn't as useful as it used to be, sadly. Also, shield. Very nice. It doesn't last that long. Like, barely enough to get through now. But yeah, rock armor. It's, it's not as useful as it used to be, sadly. But yeah, if you could draw a water and cold element, you get ice. We don't have cold yet, but we will eventually. But firstly, Loki, look at first. Baron. Uh, not what I meant to do. Wait, why am I... There we go. Okay, he's hurting me. But why is he not dead? There we go. Oh, so... Ice. As I said, ice. So if it doesn't do that whole nice thing where it combines the spells, it still does the same effect, but it doesn't do that, so you have to actually add things. So you can make something like this. Chaotic ice shard thing. Also, lightning. Lightning, of course, doesn't work with Earth. Hilde! Mir expander dine quester. 
Hooter de propepa barn. Ingen barn, ingen hooter, sa. Ne spatsen langt bort i sikken schallet in den nostrer, asker factor. Vils navisi var a hoger hante. So, to sum things up, uh, we don't know who or where the child of prophecy is. We do know it's a herd, though. We have to go see Neustra, the soothsayer. And we have to go usually to the right to progress. And also plant our vampire. Remember that. <laughs> Remarkable. The castle is in ruins. This looks rather well. Huh. I'm not sure what if I could do anything with it. Ow. That's yeah. I tossed a rock down the well. No, probably not. If it be see. Never have a dead opus! Neither read and ye Kirakitur! Vitor, 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 Sosa Connor, Season. Social economic reasons. Social economic reasons is why they can't read the book. Or so, Agent Door, date unknown. For more information on this item, listen to Audio Tour Marker number 34. You should launch Audio Tour device and stretch the file to acquire a new one. Can we heard it at Audio Tour. I'm gonna read the basic dialogue things on items and such, but. Yes, I know. Huh? I'll pick up the work. Is there Borgi the Spectre's boat? We will head it, place passing, we will the busy conserve. Aiden conflicted to the Sosa Corner fun wall? Supreme the blame, the fuck up the reason, me make him the spook of him and baby murder. Cricket meaner? They know. They were stasis for me. Of course, yes. Brook. Also... Brook and Muck. We can push things. Push is a bit meh, but... Well, whatever. It's a thing. We also gained haste, which I... Yeah, because it beat the thing already, I gained haste. <laughs> I think I might have tripped over something. Oh yeah, by the way, haste downstairs. Ow. Still dangerous. <laughs> Don't run downstairs. Hey, matey! Spots and march! No fight at the milk farmer! Tell me the drain, don't ah, you teach us how Excelsior. to fight? Excelsior! Stop! Stop it! You're clearing your arm! Rapider! Yeah, I'm not going to read their dialogue. Except for maybe the important bits about it. Yar! Mordor! Bester Eva! Tritters, you Bester Eva! Right. Ah, eh, ehm, blimey me. Procedure their other tinger. Speller J. Sasser. You have a new, you have a new skate! Grishenko! Ah, aye, ye actor done, scrammer, scurvy mutt. And that's how you can get the train. I'm bagger, speller near the clinger, neither knap. Twinkler star, the swasher booker. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Anyway, let's go look at the rock. <laughs> it's a big rock. Congratulations. <laughs> Old Runes Tower Incorporated Information Board. There was a castle here. It's gone now, mostly. One hour three. Oh, wait. <laughs> that means I can look at more. Lost and found. A pair of glasses. One sweater, size M, unisets. Small measure of peace. One small child deceased. The terrifying truth about the human condition. Huh? Right, right. Uh -huh. Warning, we've had problems with goblins lately. If you see one, please do not approach it. 
feed it or attempt to, to domesticate it. Also important, do not project human virus on fellow creatures. Such virus are male construct to include the chaotic nature of the universe. Which I no. missed at the last thing. Oh well. Also Vlad, ah, he now has Glomsky. the Litere pa frander din. Catch! And now there's a spell. Which soul, is soul. Revive. Which doesn't really work that well in single player, to be honest. Since, well, there's no one to revive no. but yourself. And that's why we have this familiar hill. Did I miss this? How to spell chapter 2? I think I might have. Anyway, some elements cancel each other out. For example, lightning and water can never coexist, and you can life and death. So, yeah, we can't combine life and death. But it's a good way to cancel things out by just pressing those keys. Instead of walking slowly because you charge stuff and have to use it. Ow. Not yourself, don't do that. Yeah, I'm not a fan of how slow the rock takes to fire, as it usually ends up hurting me. Or bounces off something and hurts me. By the way, since we already did this prior to recording, we haven't actually unlocked anything new. Because we unlocked everything already. But yeah, I figured I'd at least show you prologue and such, and show you basically changes from Magicka 1 and such in the first video, so yeah. The next video we'll go to places I haven't actually seen yet. Which should be fun. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.